guys, this is Mama Sue, and today, this is the pretty little wire wrap earrings we're going to be doing. See, aren't those cute? I, I just put, uh, those are the glass beads, like, with the coating on them, and, um, and then it's it's uh same kind of rings we were using before, like this. And then we're using a really thin wire that we're gonna wrap down the bead and start adding all of these beads onto the the frame, which is like right here. I think this is a let me see what gauge this is. This is a 28 gauge here, and I get it on these little wrap, wraps here down at the hardware store. Um, this is the dark anal analyzed, oops, wrong way, there you go, and it's 28 gauge, and there's 50 feet on here, I think it's about $3. Three or three to four, almost four dollars. And then it's uh, what brand is this? Oh, uh, Hillman. And um, then I'm going to be using this one, and this one is a 19 gauge. And um, so that's what I got for you today. And here we go. This is what you're going to need to make your, your necklace. You're going to need um, two little earring wires. Let me turn this around. Two earring wires. You're going to need a variety of beads. Like I've got two big ones here. Then I've got four, four for each earring we have one uh, one big one uh, the big one is a uh, is an eight millimeter uh, let me see what the other sizes are the little one up oh, the little one's a little under a foot a little over a four millimeter so it's right about in the five range and then the big one the the little one was uh, there let's see what this one is okay this one is it won't go quite go through so it, it's just over a six millimeter And then we have this one, which is an an eight. It's actually just over an eight because it won't uh, go through the hole. So that's what we got on sizes there. Now you'll need two of the of the eight millimeters. You'll need eight of the six millimeter and you'll need um, oops here let me get it on there and you'll need um, um, six just meant three and three you'll need 12 of the four millimeter And then the two hooks, and then you're going to make these. I'm going to show you how to make those. And then you're going to need the the uh, the wires that I already told you. And this is the result of hard work there. Now, I just used these pearls on this one. Um, but even the pearls look pretty on this, this earring. Um, but this time I'm going to use the black on the black. 
that's what it got here. So let's show you how to make the, the ear wire to start with. You take around, oh, I'd say about 8 inches. Um, 8 inches. If you go more, it's just easier to work with. So this is probably about 8.5 inches. I'll check and make sure. Ooh, this is actually 9 inches, so you'll see how much you got left. And it also depends on how big your um, your earring is. I mean, um, how, how big your circle is. Like, look at the big difference between these circles. You know, this was um, some kind of a thread or... Um, or yarn hold, holder, excuse me, <clears throat> I just yawned on you, sorry about that, you are not boring me, um, and then I have this one that's a pill bottle, prescription bottle, and then these two are from different wires, this one was from just one of those plain chain craft wire, um, and I just took off one of the tops and still have the bottom on there. But I took off one of the tops here. And then I did the same thing with this one, but I cut a little bit more off of this because I wanted them all to fit into this container. So I think we'll go with about this size. Well, this is the same size as this one. So we'll just use this. Now, I like that all my stuff fits in one container. But anyway, what we're going to do is first we're going to get the top. We um, take our round nose pliers. On this one, I'm going to go, um, uh, this is about a quarter inch up. You'll, you'll want to go at least a quarter inch up. Or wait a minute. First, I want to do my, first I want to bend the wire. So I'm going to take this plier and right in the back part of the plier right here, right there. Now I can't fill it over the plier. I've got it sitting right in the edge and you can kind of see it there. See it there. Little dot showing it to you. And then I'm going to hold on to it, and I'm just going to push it down. Push the wire down. Just like that. Now I've got an L. Or kind of an L. <laughs> then I'm going to put my pliers in here. Just like this. At about a quarter inch. About a quarter inch in. Oh, this, this way you can see it better. About a quarter inch in, see? And I'm going to start pushing the wire away from me. Just keep pushing it away from me. And see, I can't go any further, so I have to bend, move my pliers up a little bit so I can finish going all the way around. Now we're at this point where we've got a circle just like that. Now I'm going to stick my pliers right in here and just move them around until they touch that metal. And just pull it straight down. And I've got, it's like that. Then I'm going to just hang on to it just um, by the edge down here where that little stop point is. And just bend it out a little. Just so it's kind of like that. I can always take my plier up here and straighten this up a little bit just to make it look better for you guys. <laughs> now, and this can always be moved after you get your piece together also. After you get all your, after you uh, wrap the wire around this area here because this is going to turn around like this and then wrap around this. So we're going to put it on, we're going to take our thumb, and we're going to hold it right here. 
holding that little that edge that that was cut off we're holding that right down to the plastic and rolling it around this and then we're going to go behind it just like that now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to tighten it up a little bit how I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab the wire and I'm just going to kind of twist it around there kind of tight and see how it's like tightening up just me twisting it like that now I can start wrapping it see how it wraps right around after you do that now it's holding those two wires together and it's wrapping it at the same time and it's wrapping it nicely because I'm keeping it close to the bottom if it doesn't go close to the bottom I'll I'll come back and I'll squeeze it a little bit and just to make sure it gets where it belongs okay now I've got it to here now I want to cut off that little piece that well that's a pretty big piece that's from nine inches but at least you have this to play with it's easier to have something to hang on to so you have something to play with I like having that little play on my wire now I'm going to cut that off right about here and then I'm going to squash that little little piece right there down a little piece right there you can see the shine I'm going to flatten that just take it in a little bit and then just um, before you take this off make sure you've got that circle straight and you'll be in good shape okay that's that's pretty straight see how straight it is now I've got to take this off And then I'll take, I can, I can start moving it with my fingers down. I can use pliers and move it and, and flatten the edges. Or I can start off by just pulling it right like that. Just to start the round part starting. How it starts to a round gate. Now, if I take my pliers and I squish on the roundest edges, with the biggest part of my pliers it'll start shaping my earring see there I'm going to get this side now see how the how it shaped up just from squeezing this on there now I don't need to put any decoration on this at all I don't need to if I wanted to I could go around and uh, put little marks in it so that I have so that it has a uh, see how it's, it's decorating the the metal just by squeezing it a little bit and I'm not squeezing too hard I'm just squeezing enough to dent it see how it dented up and then look at the smooth side it really makes it look more elegant I think you know even though we wanted to have the rustic look but it looks more it looks hammered and um, it just looks better so anyway let me let me get back to these earrings and we'll show you what to do now since we've got our earrings made, I mean our earrings set up here, we're going to take a long piece of this wire and don't worry that you get enough off. I'm going to take about maybe a, a foot. Take about a foot off. Because if you run out, you can always add wire. These are <laughs> really easy to do 
You really don't have to worry about a lot with this. I like to go around here. I like to start off by going, holding my wire right here and just going around this place here. And then just rolling this around just to get it out of my way. And then I'll take my pliers and I'll, I'll finish it up by just moving a little bit. Maybe pushing it up into that short area. See there? Now I'm going to bring this one back around and I'm going to go underneath. And I'm going to keep doing that and move it down a little, little space at a time. See, I went under... See, I took it now. I went underneath. Come up. I'm going to go underneath. Come up. Go underneath. Now, see how I'm getting a nice design in there just from wrapping that around. And it, it really looks gorgeous when you get done. Now, I could uh, do it really tight. And that makes a nice earring, too. Sure takes a lot more time. <laughs> but this gives you a nice effect without taking a lot of time. Okay, I think we're far enough. I'm going to start putting my beads on now. So I'm going to take more. We're going to go with three of our little ones. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to put one on first. If I can find that hole, I better pick it up. <laughs> I should have put lotion on my hands. See, I put, put a bead on there. I'm going to pull it down to my earring. And I'm going to just hold my bead right on the inside. And I'm going to wrap it around a couple times. Okay, now that that's in place, we're going to go to the next one. So I told you with this wire, it doesn't have to be a, it doesn't have to be a big task. And you can use just about any wire you want to, as long as you're not putting it in your ear. Um, uh, use your ear wires. You can, you can go to the moon with different kinds of wire. And a lot of them are just a nicer wire because they last. And it doesn't get all tarnished and stuff. This one has stayed pretty nice for me. I have another one that's that's done really nice for me too and I forget what kind it's called. But it's a silver colored wire. And see I've got now I've got three on there. Now I can see already that I'm gonna have to push this up. But you see, these wires will all move up if I want to push it up. See how I've got these on here? I have them all squished together real good. Now, I can push this up. See how I'm pushing them up? Now, I'm going to go to my next wire. I mean, my next uh, bead. My next size bead. I'm going to get two of those out. And I am going to feed that one on. And bring it around. Kind of hold it in place. And twist it. And I know I'm going to have to take that up even more. These beads are like a, maybe a little bit bigger than the ones I used on the other one. Now, as I go, I push it up in here too. That's why I left a little gap in there. So that it would move easily.
And let's get our second round one on there. Then we've got one more big one. Then we'll see where it, where it ends up. And wherever it ends up, that's where we'll have to, uh, that's where we'll find our middle. We'll just move the bead till we find our middle. Now, I like to push it out a little bit because it makes them look closed more. Now, I'm going to hold this in place while I wrap two times. One, two. And then we've got one more bead to go on there. And it's got to go right here. So, you can already tell that that's not going to be the middle part. So, we're going to have to move it up just a little more. Just work it. Okay, now I got it worked up there. Now I'm going to take more, the big one because that's our centerpiece. And I'm going to put that one on there. I'm going to hold it in place, kind of, and just wrap around. And then, boy, I got that center place right where it needs to be. See how it is with this one? The, um, these beads were just slightly bigger than those. But as long as you have three different sizes, you could, you could make something pretty cool. Or you could use different colors of uh, natural stones. It would look nice. And now I'm going to get the other side. There's one. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm just going through a lot of fabric today and I'll tell you it's got me all caught up here. That fa fabric gets in your nose, and you're you have a what you have a little problem for a while, or I do. <laughs> but that too will pass. <laughs> now I'm going around it twice. And then I'm going to pull it down. So that it gets that nice flow going to it. Well, let me do it against the white. See how it's getting that nice flow? And then I want to put my last three on. There's one. Now, if you notice, and this is the easiest way to do this, don't stick your your uh, your wire down in the middle like that. Stick it down this way so that you can just grab it and pull it through, and then you won't have to fight knots. Otherwise, you're going to have to fight knots. I just now thought of that, so I thought I'd better tell you, because I don't know if I've ever told you that before. But sometimes I remember these things just on certain, this one had a lot of wire wrap. That's probably why I remembered. And the last one. And then I'll shape it all up and then I'll finish wrapping around this edge here. Okay, it's all wrapped. Now I want to squash them down to where they're even on both sides. And that looks that looks pretty even. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it around here now. Just what I've got left here. 
And if I run out, I'll just add a little piece. It's no big deal. But I might have just enough. Well, I'm just a little bit short. So I'll grab myself a little piece of wire. It's coming. Well, that's not a little piece. But that's all right. I like to go around my bead first. See, I go around a bead here just to get it connected good. And I like to, to start in a, a place that it really doesn't show that you're adding on. When I go over this, it'll just, uh, it'll just look more, a little bit more wound up, but, but it's not a big deal. If I had to, I could always go over the other side and add more, but I won't have to. Because this, I, I've done this enough that I know it comes out good anyway. It was kind of good that I ran out, though, so that you could see that. See how I just grabbed that little piece that, that comes through? Right there, I just grab it and pull it through. Now, if I decided to go this route, a lot of times this will get knotted up right here. You know, when it's coming down, sometimes it'll get knotted. So you don't want that to happen. I'm going to go around this and I'm going to come back around here a couple times and cut it off. One, two, and I am going to cut that off. Now, you could put a little glue on there if you wanted to, but I don't really seem to have a problem with it. It hasn't stuck me or anything. See how smooth that went down when I when I turn my pliers as I'm rolling it down? Then I don't seem to have a problem with it. Now, this one I need to cut off. I got a little piece right there. I'm going to squish that down too. And if while I if while I was winding I messed anything up, I just come down and put everything back where it belongs. And that's the outcome of that. And let me just let me put the put the bead, I mean put this on and then I'll show you next to the other one. Oh, I always bend that out because I don't like I don't like the curved uh, earring things that you buy in the store. So I just take that curve out. And then now you open this and whichever is your front you're going to have, you're going to want to put the front Oh wait, my front's on the other side, so I gotta push these beads the opposite way. And the way I knew that it that this was the front is because my cutoff piece of wire is right there. So I knew that this was the front. Then I'm gonna the front side you put on the wire first. Like that. And you just close that little sucker up. And voila. That's what you get out of that. Isn't that pretty? And then see there? Oops, turn that around. That's how pretty they come out. I just 
I think they're gorgeous. Okay, let's finish up the other earring. And uh, we will have a nice set. Okay, let's get ourselves our wire. And we're just going to go a little bit longer this time. <laughs> just so we don't have to change things up too much. Okay, let me see here. Well, I just picked up a wire that has... It's um, left over from another package. And this little wire, I'm telling you, if... If, if it gets pulled off your package or out of the package, you're going to have to fight with it if you want to use it. But I didn't have to fight too much because it's not, a, it's not too bad. But I like them better when it comes straight from the package. I don't know how I got it. I, I let little girls play with my uh, stuff and let them make things and stuff so it just makes me happy that they love to do it okay so this is my back so we're going to get this on here we're going to start by going around this like I did before and right around that core and let's get our pliers and squash down the residue and then push it up okay there it is it's hidden okay now i'm going to start going now did i get this on there that, yep i did Oh, I've got it going the wrong way. That's all right. I can switch it. Just got to go around here. Just, you have to do that. Just go around the whole thing. And then come down through the bottom and come up. And you'll have it going the right way again. If I did that properly. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, I did it right. Okay, let's pull these over here. This is our last earring. I made this quite a bit longer this time. It's probably two feet long and it's issue. I don't need it that long. I didn't realize I'd cut off so much. Okay, find the holes. That's the biggest battle on this earring is finding the holes for me. I got some of those old eyes. But it's okay. I'm going to get new glasses real soon here. Oops. I thought I was making a different earring. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm supposed to wind this down some, aren't I? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's wind it down. I don't like working with more eye wire. I'm going to take some of this off. I'd rather add a piece than have to fight the wire. Okay, that's better. Now see, it gets fast once you know how to do it. Get it through there, see? See, I've got it wound on there. Now, I don't have to have a major amount of wire because I'm pushing it up when I'm adjusting the wire when I get beads on. So, you don't have to worry so much about that. And I'm just glad that it's flexible right there that I can uh, move the beads a little bit. You want to move them until you're ready for it to stop moving. You can always, if you if you don't like your beads floating at all, um, you can all, well, these don't like float, but they, um, 
uh, like if you don't like them where, the, where you can move them, you can always put a second wire around the whole thing. And it'll uh, stiffen it up even more. But I find this is, this is fine right here. And it looks good. Let's get that, oops, one more, and let's get our other bead. Black beads are so hard for me to see the hole. <laughs> so black beads will make it slower for me. Okay. Now that we got this one in there, we're going to push those up like I did before. Okay, let's just push it up. Now what's kind of nice though is now we have our, our, our earring here that we can line it up to and go, oh, that uh, needs to go up a little bit more because we have one to go by. So after you get the first one, you're in good shape. I'll put this up to this. Oops. So I'll put this up to this. And yes, it's in the right place. So that makes it kind of nice being able to do that. Now you're going to go with your medium bead. I'm going to wrap that around. And wrap it around. Oops. And wrap it around again. Another good reason to uh, to double wrap this, if you choose to double wrap them, is um, I mean, put another wire on after it's done. Is um, this is a thin wire, and if you're going to have somebody that's hard on earrings, it might be nice to go a double one. But I, I'm kind of hard on earrings, and I've not had a problem yet. And my daughter uh, wears my earrings every day I, um, when she goes to work. So, and she's never had one break on her either. So, they must, they must be okay. Okay, let's get that big one in there. And we're halfway through with this pair of earrings. With the whole pair. Now. Yeah. Get that wound around there a little bit. Then we'll check it out. Make sure it's in the middle. Wind it twice. And then, now we want to see if it's in the middle. That looks like it's a little bit toward that side. So I'm going to go ahead and push it up a little bit. And bring the beads out a little bit. Like, like the other one. And that looks just about in the right place. Let me put it up to the other earring. And yep, yuppers, we got it in the right place. Okay, now let's let's get our medium beads. We got two of these. I'm gonna wrap one around and kind of hold it in place. So you use this hand to hold on to your beads while you're wrapping the wire around. To kind of keep them in, you know, uh, standing still to get them on there nice. See? Now I'll get my next one, and then we're down. Uh-oh. I notice I only have two beads there. I must have popped one out. Ah, there it is. I do that sometimes, and I have been putting extra beads just in case. But I didn't do that today. <laughs> Put 
Oops. You can hang on to that. And I kind of give it kind of a little tug when I'm doing that. But I don't bend this wire a lot. I just I just go around and around. I'm going to pull this down. And there's where we are that, with that. And I'm going to get the last three beads. And we will have a beautiful set of earrings. If you don't mind winding wire around, you can make some pretty cool looking earrings. I got that two times. Next. You see I'm hanging on to just that little bead. I'm push I push this down kind of with my thumb and grab it from the other side. Now this is definitely gonna have to be pushed back some. And I've got one more to go, and then I'll do my pushing. My push and pulling. And then we'll finish winding off the rest of the wire. Oh, and I'm going to have enough this time. But it was good that I ran out at that time just to show you. I had a feeling I would. It was going to be close, <laughs> no matter what. Okay, now I'm going to pull this down. I'm just trying to pull this. And sometimes if you just move it a little bit like this, you can pull it down easier. Now see, when, when I pull them down, I'm also making them come out some. So that, I mean, if you look at the, the back of that, and then look at the front of it. You can see I'm pooching out. See, when you see it from this side, you'll notice most of the beads show on this side. And I've almost got that there. I still got to go a little bit more. So I'm going to have to move these up. But I don't want to take it too far because... There's not a lot that I, I really don't need to move it a long way. Just a little. Oh, now I got it down too far. There, there we go. And let me see this next to the other one. It looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to just wrap this all the way up to the top and cut it off. And then we will be done. Oh, well, no, we got to put a, we still got to put an ear wire on. I always feel like it's done before I put the ear wire on. But then when I look at it, I go, oops, it's not done yet. But it just feels more complete once you've got that, that wrap finished. Now I'm now I'm gonna I went around this a couple times. Now I'm gonna go just like one or two times around here. I'd go at least two times. I'm going three right now. I went two on the other one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, as, as you can see. Now I want to take this. And I, I will put it right where that little burr is. And I will move that wire up. And it will hide that little place where I had a, a little wire. And I didn't that time. See, I'm just, I'm just talking. Okay, there. Now it went in. Now I want to put this on. And by George, I think we're done.
Now I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to find the front, which I know it's right here. And I'm going to put that front on first. Then I'm going to close the wire back up. Now that wasn't a very hard earring to make. It was just a lot of wrapping. That's that's the only thing that was hard about this. This is just wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And you get these together. Ooh, let me put them on a let me put them on a card. They always look cool when I put them on their cards. I always get these kind and I I just poke a hole through it. You know, it's already got holes, but I wanted to go through the back. Because I don't like to lock them in because then they look bulky. And that's our new little fancy wire wrap earrings. And then here's the one that I did before this one. And this, this had the maroon beads in this one. And then this one has the black beads. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless and keep y'all safe.